Page borders are borders that appear around the entire page of text. They fit around the outside of the page's normal print area between the margins and the edge of the paper. Although page borders can be applied throughout multi-page documents, I often use them for single-page flyers or signs like this one. You've probably seen signs like this around the office, someone's attempt to share important information without making an ugly handwritten sign. Let's see how we could put a border around a page like this. To set a page border, click the Layout button on the ribbon and then click the Border button under Page Background. You can also open up this dialog by pulling down the Format menu, choosing Borders and Shading, and then when the dialog appears, click the Page Border button. You can apply a page border a number of ways. One way is to select one of the predefined borders under Setting. You've got Box, Shadow, 3D. They're quick and easy to use, but they're not very interesting. A better way is to create a custom border. You select a style, color, and width, and Word automatically applies it to all sides in the preview area. So let's give this a try. We'll choose a style, maybe this one here, and a color, try this red color, and then choose a width, slightly wider width maybe. As you notice here, Word has applied it in this preview area. To apply the finished border, just click OK. Word applies it to your document. This one also has a drop shadow because we'd chosen the drop shadow setting. This isn't bad, but we can do better, so we'll go back into that dialog. I'll click the Borders button, and this time we're going to use the Art menu. This has a lot of different pictures on it that you might find useful. So I'll scroll down here, and I think I'm going to use these clocks. Let's select the clocks, and they'll appear over here in the border, and then I can use the width area to change the width of them to make them smaller or larger. I'll make them a little bit smaller. When I click OK, they're applied as a border around the document. Now if you don't want to use color, you can choose different options from that art menu. Just select the art menu again, scroll down, and you'll see a whole bunch of borders that are in black and white, including a couple of really nice Art Deco ones. So choose one that you like, and again you can change the width in here if you want to, make it wider or narrower. And then when you click OK, it's applied to the whole document. I want to point out that you can use the Options button here to change settings for it. For example, if you click that button, you can change the margin area. You can add more space between the margin of the document and the border by just increasing the values that are in here. When you set the new values, just click OK and it will change. I'm not going to make any changes there. To remove the border, you can click None, and then when you click OK, that will remove the border from the document. I'm going to leave it as is, so I'm just going to click Cancel here, and that border should remain. I do want to make one more change in this document, though, and it has nothing to do with borders. What's bugging me is that the document text is gathered up near the top of the page. I want it to fill the page, and I can do that with the Document dialog. So I'll pull down the Format menu, and I'll choose Document, and then click the Layout button, which is already selected here. What I want to change is the vertical alignment. Right now it's set to top, which is normal. The text normally starts at the top of the page. But if I pull this menu down, I can either center it on the page, justify it on the page, which means to spread it out throughout the whole page, or choose bottom. I'm going to choose center, and then when I click OK, it centers that text in the middle of the page. And that looks a lot better. So as we've seen, you can place a border around a page of text, the border fits into the otherwise empty margin area between the document text and the edges of the paper. If this were a multi-page document, this border would be repeated on every page. Page borders have limited use, but I'm sure you'll come up with something to use them for, even if it's the next clean out your stale food message posted on the lunchroom fridge.